Good morning everyone, Baseball Caniac here with a Let's Play with another uh, new Let's Play that I'm going to be starting and for this one I'm going to be playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl Subspace Emiss Emissary and as you can see I've already made a username for this gonna abbreviate it YTLP for YouTube Let's Play and I'm going to do this on normal because I won't be too hard and here we go I am going to let the cutscenes play to get the full amount of the story so this should be some good times Here's our first match. on landing the finishing blow on Kirby but took care of it and here we have Pit Mario and Kirby realizing there's a much bigger threat here. And the princesses do as well. So we have primates. That should make things easier. Go ahead and take care of everything. And that's the last of the primates. Keep an eye on him. He's a very important part of this story. Ah, it's a time bomb. Well then. 
It looks like Petey Piranha is a part of this as well. the rest of Zelda's cage. Ah, Wario's here. Be able to let Zelda on as world star. We'll go right back to the map and get to the next part of this. And able to escape the stadium before it implodes, as you can see right there. Pit will now be greeted by Palatina. join the fight. Let's get right back to this. Well, grab the trophy, let's move on through the door. Now I'm not trying to speed run this or anything, this is meant to be a let's play, however, I do want to just go a certain way about it, just going to be a uh, you know, do whatever, beat it whatever way you can. should have saved that. Well, that's good. There's items in there. Pizza, cheese, things like that. And still many. That, there we go. A greet. Go down already. Jeez. 
That guy did not want to go down. Thankfully, we got a tomato right before entering this. Mario is back. Nothing against Pit, I'm just I'm just a Mario speedrunner. No, 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 no need for the wall jumping. Oh, oh, wow. Did I seriously miss that? I did. <laughs> and now I just feel like a stupid. I just feel like a stupid. But <laughs> we'll be sure to try not to do that again. I just flat out missed it. It's a bit of a time waster, but there is something up here worth getting. Ah, Nintendogs trophy. So that was worth it. Everyone needs a cute little pooch. Whoa. Let's move on now. To another required fight. Didn't do anything. I guess some. I guess not everything can be captured. It was worth a try. And now this, because it's fun. I like the little launch pads. And we see an Arwing. So now I go to the Sea of Clouds where we rejoin Kirby and Zelda. Trigger another cutscene, though, we'll see what happens. Have the worst timing with those things. It's like whatever it lands on becomes a trophy. Ah, uh, you know. Should try to get one of these. I don't have one yet that I know of. I don't want to fall off again. Oh, there's an extra life. We needed that. 
unfortunately, unfortunately, Zelda's not a very fast runner. And Fayesh is there. Tao Tao. I think somebody was playing Tetris here. I hate it when they leave the game on pause. Bring on Kirby. That guy for throwing stuff at me. Screw you, buddy. And you fish. Oh, we have to go. Here. Forget about that Spock up there. Now we have these little guys. Oh, we can move on. There's another regeneration of them down here. There's also a rock falling. Rocks falling. I'm not doing very well with my jumps here. Okay, damage boost, I guess. Do we have to fight these? We have to go down. That's right. Jeez. Did have to beat all them. So this turns into Indiana Jones a bit here. And now another one of these. Uh oh. Another one of these guys. So now we'll get Zelda back. Now I'm glad we got that one up earlier. Looks like Zelda will finish this stage off. Be sure we got everything set up. All right, about that, I shouldn't have to do anything else now. So let's go to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle where we've got fun and games, and apparently here we've got Mario enemies. Ouch. Sort of goes back to when Donkey Kong was versus Mario. Given that was a different Donkey Kong, but still. Here's Diddy fighting alongside his buddy. Nicely 
the and it's a really cool cutscene. You see that Bowser's minions aren't just out there randomly. They're actually interacting with each other. The Koopas, the Goombas, and the Bullet Bills actually being launched by the Goombas. So really, that, that's just all together. Just a fantastic scene, I think. Because you see them for what they really are, and they're carrying out their boss's orders. Sadly, though, they're still going to get treated like Mario and Anise, and that's being stepped on and stuff. It's getting these, uh... <laughs> I never played Donkey Kong Country, so I'm guessing these came from that game. And... There we go. DK Country is something I, I do want to play, it's just I, I haven't and I don't have the game. So I'll have to get it. Launch. And wait. And launch. Jesus, is a lot of girls. Man, I left a sticker. Oh well. Hey, you! I wasn't even gonna bug you. Easy, Goomba. Oh, look, it's uh, Animal Crossing characters. I just realized everything went full screen. And now we got some hammer blows to contend with, and Goombas, and Bullet Bills. The hammer bro was not afraid to throw their endless supply of hammers. They are quite the guy. Alright, now we can move on. Bullet Bill at the end. So some more Goombas. <laughs> Where are all these many mushrooms coming from? Bullet Bill's just going to fly harmlessly if we don't want to fight them. Hunter's an Ente. Try hard, Ente. I gotta quit doing that. Alright. No issue. We're at the end. Now we're gonna launch. And we're gonna slowly make our way downtown, falling fast. Faces fast and unstage uh, that. Oh look, it's a giant Goomba. This looks like a new Super Mario Bros. stage. Well, that'll do it. And <laughs> I'm gonna throw that over there and just blow it up. And that's the end of the level. Yay, we got the bananas. Well, this isn't good. I don't think Diddy can stand up to that. Aww. Well, DK just sacrificed himself so Diddy could be safe. And 
going to be Pit this time. Try to take turns and be everyone. Not sure if I need to get up there. There's something up there. Ah, I'm just not getting it. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time here. Alright, it's just not gonna happen. I should I should have went with Mario. That was more likely just a bonus thing. We'll just have to skip it for now. This is where we needed to be anyway. Because now we're going to have an auto score fight with some Spocks and Primates. That bottle of water could use that. That the bomb's just going to take a little stroll. No rebox on that bomb. -bom. Some fire primates. Is that from Wrecking Crew? It's a dud. Wouldn't you know it? It's a frickin' dud. Yeah, do style and tricks. I don't need anything when your hammer doesn't work. Well, that's, that was awkward, but we got through it. They bore Boris there. Oh, a blast box. I'll grab this heart down here. football out of here. I'm going to be respectful and call that a football, even though Americans, we call it a soccer ball. Just for any international viewers, I am going to call that a football. Just grab the pizza, grab the chicken leg, take you out. Some reason, ancient minister. We are right. We are ready to go right back out there. You see, Diddy come. There's a Rayquaza. <laughs> I 
And I think it just used hyperbeam. Ooh, that's vicious. Fox saving the day for Diddy. Nice use of reflector there, Fox. <laughs> so now Fox and Diddy will team up. Maybe that's Dragon Pulse. I don't know what attack's name used. I'd grab that mushroom, but I've had bad luck with the mushrooms. It might be another mini. Oh! Just got a duck there. Oh, man, he actually got me on that one. Did he have to join now? That requires it's using dig. How's that even possible? There are three of them? Maybe he used double team. Pretty sure he knows more than four different attacks, but regardless, I got some stickers for our trouble. Rayquaza has fainted. I don't know what the fox says, but I know he doesn't feel like going. Well, it looks like he will be going with Diddy. First thing we'll have to do is immediately go inside this door. More Goombas. Go ahead and fire at these guys. This is the best song in the game, in my opinion. So I'm just going to let it play for a bit. Worth a try. Those things are called buculus. They will run up and kiss you if you don't know they're coming and they will take health. They will damage you. So do not approach them lightly. They are not out to the front. Now that's going to open up something in this room up here. Er, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Not necessarily that one. Oh, 
Oh yeah, something opened here. Oh, did he come on? There we go. Bad dead day. You see what I mean? They are not nice. Get wrecked. I just had to make sure I got everything. And we got a melon and a cake from the portal. Pretty sure. I didn't need to go in there. I meant to go up here. Yeah, here we go. Now it's no longer just a fiery pit of despair. we have to beat this. Yep, there's a door. And now a water auto scroller. Aren't these nice? Well, these guys are following their rules of walking back and forth. Yeah, you can't beat that. So. Now, hang on. I want to go in there and take care of this. Another extra life. And a trophy. That's everything. Now we can go on. Donut and like a shish kebab. Get motion sick. Ha! Ah. Now we have Bowser. Well, Dark Bowser. Bowser with the pile driver. Or more like a vertical suplex. I attack him. He's got an answer for it. Well, those peanuts are. They have healing power. <laughs> but we are able to put Bowser away now. Yeah, he ain't moving. That ooh. ooh. He just turned into some purple ooze and disappeared. Being shot at. He still wants him. 
<laughs> Diddy wants to deal with them, but Fox ain't having it. As he saves Diddy from a bad situation. And we got a Deoxys trophy. Another member of the Tryhard Club. You don't watch Twitch Play Spoken Lawn, you won't get the reference. Never mind. So here's Lucas. And there's a giant stone walking statue. Not really something you want to see in a desolate part of town. Now this is another auto scroller that basically says run to the right and watch out for that giant thing. If you get stuck there, he'll make sure to make a way for you. Now I'm just going to have to leave that sticker. I hate to do it, but I can't grab them all. In a way, this is good because he's helping me, but at the same time, I have no leeway, as you saw there. I'm going to have to stay focused on just avoiding this guy. This desolate town. That switch is on the ceiling. I forgot about it. Just doing that as a show of defiance. I really don't like that guy. But nothing will stop him except for this water. And even truthfully, that doesn't even stop it. Because look at this. Hey, I'm back again. <laughs> Why is he carrying a wrench in a book? We have no idea. But what I do know is that trigger to cut it. Lucas was just spared by Ness. And there is Porky. Go ahead and handle this as Ness. This shouldn't take very long. I really don't like this boss. As you can see. Struggling with him. I think in easy mode, that would have just flat knocked him out. But we got him. And a sticker. Whoa. 
Oreo having some fun. Can't get an S. But he does seem to go after Lucas. And Ness saving Lucas. But sadly, that means Ness has become a trophy. Wario with his trademark laugh. Find Pokemon Trainer. Squirtle. Now that trainer's just going to follow Squirtle. Can't stay in this water too long, even though he is a water type. Just flows, flows. Oh no! I just got blown off stage. Now we got these batons to deal with. Bitons? I'm calling them batons. They look like a bunch of creepy looking Voltorbs. I mean, look at those faces. Had to stop them from multiplying. difficult. Stick. Well, some food good. Oh, golly, those were terrifying. Oh, get out of here. Goodness. Frustrating things. Having a hard time up here. Remember, this is normal mode. I know some people are better than that. That'll take care of them. Just playing at my own pace here. Call Squirrel. 
back. And Lucas wants to go up. So we will. Got a flow trophy out of that. And we are joined by Lucas and the unnamed Pokemon train. Whom I'm going to name Steve. The rods do not look happy. wheeling pyramids here. And they're doing quite well with the sword. Marv needs to be fast and swift. I'm not just going to take this with me. Arm rights. Take care of the Baboras here. We're going to need that key to get through here. Let's see what's in this one. Hey, heart container, that's what we needed. Go back up. Sure, rather be hit by those than the sword. Ah, gotta gotta go quick through here. Just avoiding those swords. I don't think the game is going to... Uh, but there has to be a way to get it. There we go. I was holding left, it wouldn't let them move. Whoa, look at these guys. They're like bikers. Rotors. get thrown for nothing. Make a wish it is 11-11. And these guys just are not being nice. here. Ah, it's an 
better night. And maybe for now they should focus on these guys instead of each other. thing. Bringing out the heavy artillery for the end. Taking out Mennonite. So let's take care of that Greek. Okay, thanks, walking the bomb. <laughs> Took out the last one for me. And some more of these guys to fight off. This is not the standard Nintendo game because I'm holding left, and I'm auto-scrolling left. Quite the hitbox. And he's still going at it. Well, it took long enough, but we got it. Look at that. Just keep moving forward. Oh, crap, that's a ton of fey issues. And, oh, great, the head of the hammer came off. Okay, I'm not trusting hammers. Ouch. Well, there were a bunch of healing items down there, which will now go to waste. Well, this is almost finished. Golly, this is a long one. There's a lot to do here. So now we're in a mine car. Ah, 
did it again. Entered the door when I didn't want to. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop doing that! I'll get it right. I'll get it right. So now we're just going to make our way back to where we came from. Got a sword printed now. With a heart. Another mine car. And that means caution. <laughs> that also means get out of it. That's also what that means. Just destroying everything along the way. <laughs> Not gonna get me this time either. Still going along the desolated part of the railroad track. Destroying the bomb from off that one from off the ancient minister. And there's more. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I thought we were finally at a break. I may have to cut this video short. Because it's taken a lot longer than I thought, thought it would. If this would be the last one, that would be great. It's, it's a great game, it's just some of these fights are longer than I thought they would be. Mega Gog. It's more fishes. Didn't even realize. It's getting bigger. These guys are pretty much playing ping pong with me now. Some real dramatic stuff going on. And there's the end. Okay. So now I won't have to cut it short after all. That's a relief. So some more Animal Crossing trophies. We got some stuff done. That's yeah, Luigi. Yeah, he doesn't want any part of it. Oh. Hey, now. Uh-oh. Luigi just got sent into the trophy ages. These guys got their trophies.
I don't think Wario knew that one was cleaned already. Well, <laughs> Wario just got wrecked. And now he wants it back. So that'll be how this video ends with the bad guys not being able to get along as of yet. And with Mark, Ike, and Meta Knight joining the team, we will save here. And we have, we are 16% of the way through. So I hope you all enjoyed that, and hopefully we'll see you all again soon for another episode of uh, Baseball Place uh, Brawl. Sudstay Cemetery, and this went really well. Hope everyone has a nice day, and God bless.